Okay, folks, I'm back here in front of the CLI-42 resetter that is USB powered. This is very important because USB powered resetters provide constant level of voltage and you need that to ensure that the chip is being correctly written to and that there is no loss of voltage and therefore possibly corrupting your chip. So you have to have constant power. This is why I prefer the non-battery type of uh, resetter. These are not so portable but they're a lot more reliable. So we'll, we'll go ahead and take the cartridge that I just flushed and we're going to reset it. And now let me tell you a little bit of what actually takes place so that you'll understand what I'm talking about and why it's so important to follow these instructions. These cartridges have a little LED light incorporated in them. And so when you first pop them into the printer, you will see the light come on. And also when you pop them onto your resetter, you will get an initial short flash. Do not move them out of the resetter at that point. You have to leave them there. And different cartridges, different resetters have a different lapse between that initial red flash and the constant red light. The resetting, here's a little secret for you, the resetting or the writing of the code to tell it that it is now full takes place during that interval between the flash and the moment where the red light is constant. You cannot interrupt that connection or you will ruin your chip. You may get away with it once or twice, but if you do that often, you will end up ruining your chip and you might as well throw that card out and start with a fresh one. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. Take a look down here. You'll see a little flash. Flash. Constant. Out. That's it. Do not interrupt the connection until everything has already taken place. The short flash, the long flash, and then the going out of the red light. Now with CLI 8s, it is even faster. It is just flash and immediately red flash and immediately red. So the writing period is much shorter. For the PGI 9s for the 9500 it's also a little bit long like this ones are. For the PGI 72s for the Pro 10 again much longer period between that. Let's do the blue one. The cyan. Wrong direction Joe. Okay watch the light. Flash. Constant out. That's the only time when you can now safely remove that cart. If you interrupt that and you have to do it two or three times, you might end up with a chip that no longer is recognized by your printer. And that is just a little hint. That was actually put out by Precision Colors recently in one of his videos. And by the way, go to the Precision Colors channel on YouTube. Lots of great information there. Lots of great information pertaining specifically some of his products as well as just general techniques. The guy is a veritable genius. I wish I knew that much. All right, so that is it. Remember, do this correctly. These cards will last you the lifetime of the printer, okay? If you do this correctly, refill correctly, recondition the sponges occasionally, these cards, there's nothing in here to wear out. The only thing you could ruin is your chip. And so these cards, have a lifespan that will exceed the printer more than likely if you take good care of them. Okay, so please like, please subscribe, and until the next time, and of course share. Happy printing, and bye bye folks.